Harry Kane becomes England's all-time scorer, Conte is finally sacked, and Bora has a good weekend. Very nice. This is Curiously Sport and our wrap-up of the football weekend. So it looks like England have a new all-time top goal scorer. Say goodbye to Wayne Rooney's record and hello to Harry Kane's. Breaking a record in England's midweek fixture against Italy, Kane wasn't done yet. He scored another goal in England's fixture against Ukraine over the weekend. In the midst of all of this, rumour had it that Thomas Tuchel was set for Bayern Munich and Antonio Conte was set for unemployment. Now, spoiler alert, both of these rumours came true. And finally, Kazakhstan beat Denmark 3-2 in an unexpected yet extremely thrilling comeback. So what does it all mean? At 11pm on Sunday night, Spurs confirmed they had parted ways with Antonio Conte, only 17 months after appointing him in that role. Even though they didn't get a Premier League title or any trophies to speak of from Conte in his short time in charge, at least he did one thing better at Spurs than he did at Chelsea a few years ago, and that was somehow managed to get less words thanking him in his exit statement. So at least that's one thing Conte got right. Now, only one member of Conte's backroom staff is leaving with him, and that is Gianluca, who was an analyst at Spurs, but also his brother, so that makes a lot of sense. Christian Stellini is going to stay as interim head coach for the rest of this season, which will make an interesting watch. So if Stellini is interim, this now means that Daniel Levy is looking to appoint his fourth permanent manager at Spurs since 2019, once again leaving the club in limbo for the rest of this season. Across the football world, Thomas Tuchel returns to coaching at Bayern Munich, replacing Julian Nagelsmann. And where Nagelsmann goes next is going to be quite interesting. He could turn up in the Premier League this summer, so one to watch there. The best has to go to Harry Kane. There may not be enough trophies underneath his belt, but he's becoming a living legend. He's broken yet another goal scoring record this season. The support shown from his family and his teammates and his fans has been phenomenal. So congratulations to the England skipper. The worst what has to be Antonio Conte, right? And it now feels like his time as a Premier League head coach might be over, given that two stints in London with two major clubs ended in similar toxic ways. The thing for Chelsea, though, they got out of his time in West London was a Premier League and an FA Cup. Spurs didn't even get that to compensate for the collateral damage that felt inevitable when they appointed him back in 2021. Conte quite clearly can inspire some brilliant things in his teams but he also is very confrontational and his stints don't last very long and part of what makes him grating is his never-ending demand for transfers and his public outbursts make an exit inevitable each time. Former England captain Steven Gerrard gave Harry Kane all the flowers. He said he has absolutely everything. He's a fantastic person. He makes you proud to be an Englishman. But where there are compliments for Harry Kane, there's always the question of where his future lies with Tottenham. Following his compliments, Gerald proceeded to say, listen, I don't want to open a can of worms. He has a big decision to make. I've been there. It was different for me. Winning one trophy with Liverpool would have meant a lot to me. He's different. He's not from Tottenham. This decision will be on his mind. Do you know what I say? I say, put us out of our misery, Harry. Let us know what you will be doing in the summer. So we have a few more internationals to wrap up before we get back to Premier League action next weekend with Manchester City versus Liverpool at the Etihad Stadium kicking off the business end to this season. Going to be very interesting to see how that game plays out and also the rest of the football as it gets pretty intense at the Premier League at both ends of the table. Let us know your thoughts on the football weekend in the comments below and make sure to share the show with a friend.